Oh, in your area, Top Row Promotions, you're up there in Boston. Just for the people that don't know Joe Cronin right now, we're trying to get his get some more eyes on Mr. Cronin. He he operates in uh, Boston, Massachusetts, or what did you say the town was, Fall Springs? Uh, Fall River is where Fall they're located Rivers. out of. But they wrestle, but they go all over Mass, kind of, so they're Brock, Brock in Mass and Fall River mostly. Um, but yeah, pretty much always within 45 minutes of Boston, around somewhere. Is there uh, any 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 indie wrestlers that are in that organization that stand out to you that maybe the people in my area don't know about? Um, I don't know. Uh, maybe Travis Gordon. You might have heard of him actually, but Travis Gordon is Flip Gordon. He, uh, he he's really come on strong over the last year. He's really been developed, and uh, he's he's a high flyer. He does some crazy stuff. Go look up Travis Flip Gordon or Flip Gordon, and you'll be just like, "Wow, this dude's awesome!" Um, dude's an army vet. Still, still does stuff for the army. Still goes away to the army, and then comes back and wrestles. I met him at Fan Fest a, few, a year and a half ago when me and Leo were there, mm-hmm. and uh, he was just hanging out at a booth. And he was trained by the Chaotic guys, so I mean, you know, that's where Sasha Banks went to wrestling school. So everybody, mark my words right now. You're hearing it on the on this show. Um, Travis Gordon, Travis Flip Gordon. Look him up. You see him. He will be signed by NXT and WWE at some point soon. He's already been on Raw, two in front of parents. Okay. The guy's only been doing it for about two and a half years. And uh, I promise you, he will be in WWE or somewhere, if not ROH. But he'll be somewhere within the next year, I bet. I guarantee you. Almost. He's currently the chaotic uh, uh, world heavyweight champ. And um, also, my buddy Teddy Goods is in. He, now, Travis is all over the place. Teddy Goods is out of... Uh, um, top rope promotions, and he wrestles all over the place too. And he's the champion of top rope promotions. I've heard um, him talk Teddy about is another it. guy. Who, you know, look for Teddy Goats to to maybe get something going. And at some point, he is the former tag team partner of Biff Busick, who is only lurking in NXT right now. So I mean, those are two guys that are on the radar, but there are more. Okay. Um, if you haven't heard of them, uh, just they're, uh, they're 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 good dudes. I mean, Teddy Goats doesn't do. Doesn't do all the crazy flipping stuff, mm-hmm. you know. So you may you're never going to see. I don't think you're ever going to see Teddy Goods on like the like indie highlight reels. Okay. But like his entrance music, his presence, his connect connection, and it's just a uh, veteran. He's a veteran man. He's really good, and and his only chance at this point, I, I mean, is to get hooked up with the WWE. He wrestles the WWE style, so it would be. I think it would be big for him to get signed. But Travis's stock is rising, and he's young, so. You just look for Travis Gordon, Flip Gordon. Okay, definitely. Okay, I'll look some of those guys up. All right, we're going to let Joe get out of here. Uh, one more thing, uh, 2017 coming up. What do you have on the horizon for Joe Cronin show as a brand? Do you have anything new coming up for the uh, YouTubers? I mean, I'm, I'm doing this thing with Sean now, which is kind of bizarre and crazy. What? Enough. People are... <laughs> Too many podcasts of Sean Dewey yesterday? No, I didn't catch it yet. Man, this week has been I, dumb. I overbooked. I did a 40 minute uh, show with, with Sean Dewey on my channel. Uh, JD was supposed to be here, but he was sick. So okay. me and Sean just did it. And um, I'm going live in a little bit later tonight with Sean again. Awesome. And, um, you know, so I'm just trying to do a little bit more stuff with more YouTubers. And he, he's so much better. When, he, when you hear him, like, do a podcast, you'll be like, wow. Because when you, you know, some people can't stand his two-minute videos that he makes and stuff. Mm-hmm. But when he does the podcast, man, he, he goes right through all the wrestling knowledge, and it's much easier to listen to. So he's focused. Um, so, yeah, and, and it's not that bad. But, uh, you know, I'll be doing more commentary for people. Um, you know, I've been lucky to be looked at by some companies and wrestling companies for commentary. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I'm going to continue to try to push that to get myself off YouTube, actually. Yeah, <laughs> I got you. Get in, <laughs> to give you a real gig. 